Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, my name is Mary and welcome to another Craft Day Wednesday where every Wednesday I post a new video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a top hat tree topper. For those of you that puts up a Christmas tree, I thought maybe this would be something that y'all might be interested in. So um, what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need cardboard, you're going to need felt, you're going to need an exacto knife, pencil, um, any kind of Christmas decorating decor that you have on hand. You can use that. I'm just showing you what I have here. Not saying that I'm going to use everything that I have that I'm showing you, but you can use whatever you want. I have ribbon. Um, and you're going to need scissors and uh, most importantly, for the top hat, y'all already know that I don't throw away nothing in my household. So I am going to be using this Crisco can. Um, this is going to be my top hat. Yes. Um, because, like I said, I don't believe in throwing away anything in my house. And fun fact, I love to bake. So, yeah. So we're going to be using this as the base of our top hat. And, um... Yeah, and you're going to be needing hot glue and, of course, hot glue or glue sticks. So now that you know everything that we are going to be using, um, I guess we can go ahead and get started with this video. Uh, but update, just to let y'all know, um, we are going to be impacted by Hurricane Zeta, I do believe. Is Zeta? Zeta? Yeah. Um, so um, I'm not sure how much damage we get praying that we don't get very much, but we know for a fact that we are already going to lose power. It happens all the time. So I just want to let y'all know that, um, yeah, if y'all don't see me on, it's because we don't have power. So while we have it, I am going to go ahead and do this video. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera down so y'all can see what I'm doing. So, okay, let's move this out of the way because we don't need it. So, first thing I did was took a piece of cardboard, any kind of random cardboard that you have, and you want to, um, depending on how big you want your circle, you could trace a plate or you can trace a saucer. That's what I did. I traced a saucer, and um, after I cut it, traced it on my cardboard, I went ahead and cut it out with my X-Acto knife, and... Um, I traced the top center in using the bottom of my can and then I just went ahead and popped that out. You don't need this part, but this is the part that you're going to be using. So once you have that part, you're going to go ahead and you're just going to cover the whole thing in felt. You're going to go all the way around with felt and then you're going to cut out your middle hole. And once you do that, this is what it should look like. So this is what it should look like once you um, have it all cut out and covered. This is what it's going to look like. And then you're going to take your can and you're going to go ahead and cover your can in felt. So I'm just going to set all of this to the side. I'm going to grab my felt. And I already know that my felt will not go around the entire can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to just uh, take some hot glue and glue my two ends together so they'll I'll have a, a long enough piece to match. And I still probably end up cutting some of that off. We'll see. So let's grab another glue stick. And I'm just going to put another little bit of glue down through here. And uh, we are we already started getting rain. So, yeah. I'm not sure what time it's supposed to be. The uh, hurricane is supposed to be on land. But, um, yeah. We're getting rain from it right now. I went up to the store earlier and people were already, like, being, like, in there just buying up all types of supplies. So now that we have that 
and I'm going to be using this as the back of my can, so I don't want the seam to be seen, so we're going to just go ahead and um, we're just going to tape this around, so we're going to go ahead and glue this all the way around. So I'm just going to take this, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue right down through here, just like this. And then we're just going to go ahead, put this here, like this. And we're going to go ahead and wrap this all the way around the can. So once you get your felt walk, uh, wrapped all the way to, around, you're going to have a little extra here. And um, you just want to go ahead and cut off your extra and then um, bring it to reach across to seal up everything. I'm going to give mine a little tug. because So I'm just going to pull it just to give it a little stretch. There we go. Now I'm just going to take my hot glue and we're just going to go down the center. I'm just going to add a little bit here and here and then we're just going to come up and we're just trying to basically butt these two ends together. So we're just going to stretch it, pull it over to make sure that our ends meet. And now I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue here just to seal this up here. Just like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and add just a little bit more down through here just to seal this up. And we have our, our seam that, um, yeah, so this is going to be the front. So, yeah. Now um, I'm just going to go ahead and just seal up this end here to make everything meet that way we don't have none of the uh, actual can is showing and if it is you can also take a thin piece of the felt and go around the, uh, the top to clean that up so this is what it looks like now I'm just going to go ahead and tuck this in like this now that I have that tucked, I'm going to pull it back out, and then I'm just going to go ahead and put some hot glue down in here, just to make sure everything is going to stick nicely. Being very careful not to burn your fingers. So we're just going to stick this down up in here. Just like this and you want this part to stay open because this is the part that your branches of your tree is going to slide in and now I'm just going to take my hot glue and I'm just going to put a little right there and I'm just going to cut a little away the extra There we go. So this is what we have. Now we're going to take the top of our hat. I mean, yeah, this is going to be the rim. And you can either slide it on like this or you can slide it over like this and slide it down. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and slide this down just like this. I think I, I th I'm so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this down so this is what it looks like once you have everything your top hat there once you connect the two and this is what it looks like on the bottom and we'll take care of that it's not gonna be seen but this is what it looks like so far now I'm going to take my red ribbon and I got this at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut this open 
and I am just going to go ahead and take this and put it around. So now we're just going to go ahead and glue this ribbon around it. So I'm going to grab my hot glue, put a little down through here, take my ribbon, and make sure everything is lined up. And we're just going to go ahead and, um, what is that? going to go ahead and wrap our ribbon all the way around. So this is what it looks like once we have the ribbon all the way around it. And now we can start decorating it however we want to. So I, like I mentioned, I have a couple different things here, but I'm not quite sure on what I want to use yet. I know I want to use a couple of these leaves, at least these three right here. So I'm just going to take my cutters and cut these off without so this is what I have I have these three little leaves here that um and I might go with some of this greenery that we have here just to see what it's gonna look like so I'm just gonna cut some of that off and I'm just gonna um Bend this out a little bit. Smooth this. So let's see. I'm just going to see how this is going to look with the green behind it. Because I'm, I plan on putting it like this. So I'm going to turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. So let's see. I'm going to set this to the side and I'm just going to play around with how I want with see the see if I really want how I really want everything to look. Yeah, that. And we have some holly here and I think I might just do this. Just use what I have here. And then um use some some red, some um yeah. So we're just going to go ahead, I'm just going to go ahead and cut right there. Okay. That's stuck. All right, now let's grab that uh, the red that we had already cut off. And I'm thinking I'm just going to grab another one of the the smaller red leaves so let's cut that and I think I'm going to glue these two together like this and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this behind it like that I think that'll be pretty if I do it this way let's turn it this way so y'all can see like that so I'm going to go ahead and glue and hot glue these two together and I do not want the stem. So I'm just going to cut these off. You can keep these if you decided to go that route, but for me, I think I'm just going to remove them. And then I'm just going to take these two and I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue down through the middle like this. Hot glue these two together and I'm just going to hold this here for a bit. And then I'm going to take my leaves and I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue down through here again. And we're just going to stick these right on top, being very careful not to burn your fingers. And now I'm going to take the holly. I think that's what this is. It's what it looks like. So that's what I'm going to call it. And I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue right on the stem. And we're just going to stick that right here. So I'm just going to hold this 
I th actually, I think I'm going to use this little piece of stick here to hold this down so I don't burn my fingers. Just to help hold it so it'll dry because I do not want to end up with burnt fingers. Now I'm just going to put a bit of hot glue right there. And I'm going to grab this stick again and hold everything down. Let that dry. Same thing back here. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue there. And I'm just going to hold this here. I am like constantly fighting with glue str with strands of glue. So this, as I mentioned, will be the front of our hat. And I think I'm just going to stick this on right here. So it'll be just like that. So I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to go ahead and stick it, stick everything on. So hot glue on. And you want to use a good amount. Or you can use E6000 or whatever type of glue you have on hand. But for me, um... E6000, I mean hot glue is the best for the videos. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of hot glue there. We're just going to stick that right there, just like that. And this is what we have so far. This is what it looks like. I'm going to turn it around. I want to know. I'm just going to see if I wanted to like maybe add anything, anything else. I have these little um, white hollies that is really hard to see. And these little white snowflakes that I think would just be cute in here somewhere. So I kind of want to do something to, so I have this side. But I kind of want to do something like up top, like up this way. So I'm just going to see what looks good so I'm thinking I may take some more of that red because I really like the way these leaves look so I'm thinking I'm just gonna take a little and I'm gonna put them together maybe up here like this but then again um, I don't know because that's gonna stick out a bit so let's try something else. I'm going to um, take off a couple of these um, white pine cones. That's So I'm just going to go ahead and cut some of these. this one off. And maybe some of this white holly. And then maybe a couple of these um, stems. Let's see. Before I do that, let's... Let's just see. Okay, let me know in the comment box what y'all think I should do. Because I'm kind of drawing a blank. Because honestly, I kinda, I'm kind of happy with the way it is now. But I feel like it needs just a tad bit of something else which I don't quite know exactly but I think I want to add a little bit of white in there maybe these white hollies or like that I'm just gonna uh, yeah I'm gonna add that there because I like the white look of it so let's see Let's see. I'm, I haven't glued it down. I just want to see what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue on there. And we're just going to go ahead and stick that. So we have that there. And now I'm going to... Um, I think I'm I honestly think I'm gonna leave it as is I'm not gonna do too much to it um, 
I think I like the way it looks now. So maybe, I don't know. If I want to do anything else to it, I may just leave it as is. So, yeah. Okay, so now what we're going to do, um, I'm really playing around with this other stuff. Let's grab some scissors. Some that's gonna something that's gonna actually cut through that wire. Maybe. There we go. So. Yeah, we're going to leave it just like that. I'm not going to do anything else to it except I think I'm going to, um, well, I know I'm going to add some fake snow around the brim and at the top because I just love the way this uh, fake snow looks. So I have my fake snow here and... I have my spray adhesive here, which is what I use to make um, my snow hold. This is Crafting Bond. And uh, I'm just going to spray around the brim here and spray up here. And then we're going to go ahead and sprinkle that with snow. So once you spray on your spray adhesive, and all I did was I just sprayed. And I just sprinkled a little snow. And then we're done with that. So this is what it looks like once you uh, put your little snow on and your little uh, decorations. And I, like I said, I feel like I should add something else to it. And I might. I'm just going to look, play around with this and see. But um, y'all let me know in the comment box below if y'all like the way it looks now or if I should add something else to it i'm thinking maybe a little white bird or something like i thought i think that would be cute if i could find one and put it like maybe at the top or something so yeah um and i'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera back up so um yeah um that is it for this video here it is our little uh, Christmas tree topper, uh, top hat Christmas tree topper, I mean, or it can be a centerpiece, depending on what you, uh, what you want to do with it. Like I said, we don't put up a Christmas tree, it's just me and my husband, we don't have kids, and so, yeah, it's just us, but, um, I like making Christmas crafts because I have a, a a crafting event coming up so I'm just getting prepared for that so this may be something that somebody may like I don't know um so yeah uh, with that being said thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my videos if you are not already subscribed please go ahead and hit that subscribe button I would love for you to become part of my YouTube family and uh, yes please keep us Louisiana in your prayers so when um, Zelta hit that it's not going to do a whole lot of damage. Like I mentioned before, we do know that we will lose power. We always do. And this is the third hurricane this year that so far. So please keep us in your family or uh, in your prayers. And uh, with that being said, thank you so much. And I hope y'all all have a nice day. Bye.